All right, welcome back. So, I'm gonna be mixing things up a little bit in in regards to what I am releasing. Um, I'm gonna be jumping a little bit forth and back between some things. So it's because people have been asking, especially uh, been asking for a tutorial on how to do interiors and completely custom interiors and custom interior instances and whatnot. So I'll be covering just the basic, uh, how to create a model and how to create a collision and how to create uh, or add textures to your models. And then we'll be covering interiors because we, we kind of need to, to cover these things for everything to kind of work together. So let's jump into it. So first things first, obviously, as per usual, we're going to need OpenIV uh, and 3ds Max. And like I covered last time, how to install Open, not Open, uh, um, Gims Evo. If you haven't watched it, go back, make sure that everything is running as it's supposed to be, uh, because we need that now. Same goes with all the tools I've been been covering uh, and telling you to get the, the last few tutorials. Be sure you have everything installed because this is actually where we're going to need all of them. So open up 3ds Max, 3ds Max as well. Uh, and as we go into open IV, we go into GTA as per usual. Let that, do, let that do its thing. And like always, mods update, update RPFs, x64. And uh, wait, why am I forgetting? <laughs> DLC packs. And then in my case, we have tutorial, DLC, x64 levels, GTA 5, and models. So make sure we have edit mode on. And then we minimize. In 3ds Max, we go to original startup, just so we have a clear canvas. Um, this is where you're going to be working on your model. Um, if you have something created or if you want to create something, you do that in here. You make sure that your model is obviously not super extremely high poly, even though it does support that. We don't really want it. Just poor performance issues and you know optimization and everything. So in my case, I'm not going to be creating a model. Uh, I'm going to be using the teapot model um, just to showcase this the, we're gonna go with the the assumption that this is the model I've been working on that I want to add to GTA so I'm just gonna do radius of one because it's usually size wise decent when it comes to GTA um, gonna make sure that the model is placed on zero 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 and what I'm doing is I'm right clicking on these arrows to uh, put it down to zero on all of them. As you can see, if I move it, I right click here, it goes back to zero. So we want to make sure that this is on zero because if not, then things might move around in a weird way and we don't really want that. So this is a decent poly count. So obviously, if you know how to work with models, it's either going to be an edible mesh or if you working a long time it's going to be an editable poly uh don't worry about it for now this will be converted because apparently games evo only supports edible mesh so we are just going to go with the assumption that my model is, is done so this time uh we're just going to minimize that for now we are going to go to our tools we're going to go open games evo I'll let it do its thing. There we go. And then we're going to go to create object. Going to go under models. And then we make sure we have our model selected. And then we click on game mesh modifier. It's going to add the game mesh modi modification or modifier up here. And as you can see, we have levels of detail, high, medium, low, very low. We might be covering this later on, but it, it kind of makes sense, you know, in, in what it does. Um, next thing we do is we click on model and click in the middle of the scene. Doesn't matter where you click, just click once. Then we get the uh, the model modifier as its own thing. We just minimize GIMS and then we're going to rename these. So usually when you see tutorials, they're using this overview here, which is fine. Uh, I usually just go by it in the top left up here in my overview. So for the modifier, 
the model modifier. I'm going to rename it to uh, tutorial underscore model. And for the actual model, I'm going to call this one tutorial underscore model underscore high. Because in this case, this is the high level of detail. So I'm just going to take this and drag it over the modifier. And then you can see in the overview here, these are now connected. That's what you're going to see in most tutorials as well, that you can see these connections here. Um, in the top left, it's just going to show that they're, you know, this one is part of this, this one with the arrow and everything. <laughs> so just going to close this one down. And then we have our model here. So next step, Gims Evo, we're just going to go back, go back, and then we're going to go to export. We are going to find our folder where we want to save in things. So in my case, it's going to be tutorial, tutorial model. This is the folder that I want to save my model to. So click on OK. We make sure that under our selection, we have tutorial model selected. These will always be on by default. So if you have multiple models in your scene, it will give you a list and you can kind of enable and disable uh, whatever you want to export. We click on continue. Yeah, so it does that sometimes. Even though I actually do have it selected, it thinks it's not selected because I click on it on and off. So we'll, we'll just do it again. There we go. Click on continue and then we'll go into our folder, tutorial, tutorial model. We'll go to open IV and we'll take our, our ODR file and drag it in. And if we double click on this, we'll get this lovely overview. Uh, it looks like this because it doesn't have a texture on it. Uh, but for now, that's fine. We, we, we're going to not, we, we don't really need the texture. We'll, we'll add that in, uh, in another part. So. If we try to um, add this tutorial model YDR in Code Walker, it's not gonna it's gonna show up as a model. You can you can view it in the model viewer, but it's not gonna show up uh, as an actual entity because we haven't added that yet. So we are gonna do that by by using this tool, create create Y type, and and the reason I'm using create Y type 2.0 is because that's what I've just been using and that's what I'm used to. Uh, there might be other tools that can do the same thing or a new version, but this is just the version I've been using and I'm used to and I can I can create my Y type in literally two seconds. So uh, I've left a link previously. I'm gonna leave links for this again. So make sure you have it uh, downloaded and ready to go. So I'm gonna double create, create Y type click on Y-Type Create, uh, go to ODR Browser, Open, click on Open, and then we're going to find our model in Tutorial, Tutorial Model, and that's our ODR. Under BBS, click Calculate BBs, there we go, and then we click Close, click on ODR Browser, and then we click on Import BBs. So we have our our name, we have the uh, calculations all the way down here. These ones, uh, HD texture, LOD uh, distance and LOD distance, you might wanna put down to something normal like 250, but as per usual, go back, look at what Rockstar did and then kind of try and match that. So for object RPF, uh, in our case, it's called models RPF. So we will just put models there. Flax, we're just gonna do 32. For now, we don't have an embedded collision. We don't have an external texture dictionary. We don't have uh, any custom drawable dictionary. So we'll leave these for now. Uh, this is going to be our first Y type that we're going to add to our project. So we might as well just do custom Y type name. Call it tutorial uh, details. Click on OK. Click on create. And then we have it out here in our folder. 
So we have tutorial details of Y type XML. So what you want to do, because currently this is not going to import. Oh, it is going to import. Let's have a look here. All right. No, this works just fine. If you do view creative white type, there's usually some error somewhere where it's using um, commas or whatever you call them instead of uh, dots. Basically, <clears throat> there's going to be these in between. <laughs> so a, a good rule or a good tip is whenever you create a white type, let's say I created a, uh, a new entity of white type, I usually just copy from item to item, paste it in here, hit control F to get the finder up, go to replace, replace comma with dot and then replace all. So in this case, zero occur occurrences because it's actually correct. But just keep it Keep that in mind if uh, if it doesn't want to import or it, do it doesn't want to work. So we'll close that one and we'll close this one. We don't really need that anymore. So we have our tutorial model, YDR and our white type. So we can go to Code Walker and let that do its thing. While we wait, we can just open up side menu and top left by hitting T. And I am going to go to the prison because that is where I have my current spawn. So we might as well just place it here. So we are going to create a new project, new Y map, Y map, new entity. And Tutorial underscore model. As you can see, we have a hash. It shows up in game. Make sure you have everything lowercase. Uh, if you try to do model, let's say you did model with uppercase, it's not, it's not going to show up. It's always in, in Code Walker, it has to be the lowercase. I've had a few people be confused as to why their model wouldn't show up. And that it, it's a possibility. That's why. So there we go. We just select our model. You can see the boundary box is fine. We'll move it down a little bit just to, to match the ground. There we go. We go to our Y map, uh, Y map, map one. We make sure to calculate flex and we calculate extends. Click on save all. Go to tutorial. And I usually just save it in the root folder of my tutorial. So in this case, we're going to call it tutorial underscore details. Click on save. Save the project as tutorial. There we go. Save saved. All right. We're just going to close Code Walker because as per usual, uh, when I record, I can't really have any, everything open. So what I usually do is um, I add uh, my Y maps to my RPF just so I have everything in the same place. Uh, might need to remember to do our manifest. So we're just going to open our tutorial back up. Click on tool, manifest, generate, match, save, manifest, tutorial. <laughs> Save. And we're just gonna take the manifest YMF, put that in here. There we go. Then we are gonna go to our server, FX server, server data resources, in my case, do whatever. I am just gonna create a new folder because I'm currently working on my tutorial folder, which I shouldn't be. Tutorial to whoop, tutorial to and then we have the resource Lua, the stream folder. And then in here, we are gonna drag and drop our manifest, YMAP, Y-type, YDR. We go back to the uh, server data master, server config, 
right click, edit with notepad. And then we do start tutorial to make sure to save that. And then we will run our server. So if everything worked out like it should, we will now have the, uh, the model doing, uh, well, it's not going to be doing anything. It's just going to kind of be sitting there. So like I said, uh, this is just how you import a model. Currently, it doesn't have a collision. That means if I walk up to it, I will walk through it. It's just kind of there. Um, but we will be uh, covering how to do a embedded collision. Uh, and then we will be covering how to add textures as well. Just simple texture is not going to be anything fancy. And there we go. Currently, it doesn't, like I said, doesn't have any textures on it. Uh, that's why it looks like this. I'll just close that one because the recording is going to be all scuffy looking. It's just kind of pulling textures from everything around the place. And that's why it looks like this. Uh, but the model is in there. Doesn't have a collision, but it's here, which is what we wanted. So that's pretty much it. You now know how to add a custom model to your 5M, your streaming folder and everything. So, yep. Next time we'll be covering the um, the embedded collision and then we'll be covering the texturing. And from there, we'll be covering interiors. Don't worry, we'll get to it. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.